My name is Stanley Shaper. I live in suburban Maryland. I'm originally from Texas, and I'm here to protesting gun violence. 93 Americans a day are killed with a gun, 100,000 a year are shot, 22 veterans a day commit suicide. It's time to stop it. So you're protesting gun violence. What are you actually calling for other than an end to that gun violence here? Sensible gun laws, uh, universal background checks, no fly, no buy. Um, banning assault weapons and high capacity magazines. And how are those gun laws enforced? Um, they're enforced um, they're enforced locally, nationally, federally, ATF. I'm not sure how they're enforced. Uh, first thing we got to do is get them passed. Well, well, your answer is kind of a where and by whom and, and at what level of government, but like specifically how, like if someone disobeys one of these laws that, that you support, you know, okay. how, how is it enforced? It could be either locally or it could be uh, federally. Well, again, you're saying where and, and, and like at what, you know, level of government, like what is the actual mechanism of enforcement? It could be local government. Well, okay, so you're still like an agency. I want, I want to like really drill down on this on like local how. The police department could enforce these things. So the local police department would, would do what? They would enforce no fly, no buy. The federal government would enforce uh, things like um, universal background checks. That should be a federal law. So so one of the laws that you, you'd support, is, can you give me an example? Like what's the, what's the most important one? Universal background checks for openers. Secondly, no fly, no buy. Okay, so it's, I like. Let's get, can we get into the universal background checks? Is that all right? So yeah, sure. that that would include like you'd want something to apply to to private party sales then. Yes, absolutely. In the state of Maryland, if you want a private party sale, you have to both go to the state police in uh, Baltimore and register the sale. And to me, that's a good idea. We should know where these guns are. So like if I'm at my place and my buddy comes over and I want to sell him a gun, you're saying that we got to go, we should have to go to the government and get permission and he gets a background check. Well, that's right. Yeah. Okay. And, and so to get to the enforcement part of this, then what would happen to us if we didn't do that? Well, if for openers, you have a year in jail and a thousand dollar fine each. Well, we wouldn't just like magically float over to jail, right? I mean, it doesn't happen that way. How would it actually happen? Well, if it turns out that the gun is discovered and it's not registered, then you both get a year in jail and a thousand dollar fine. Well, so how, how do we get to jail? Like, like if that happens, you know, this is the police doing it, right? Yeah. yeah. And so if the police come to me and say, hey, you did something that the words on paper say is bad, we're we're so we're we're gonna take you to jail and if I say no I don't want to go to jail what happens to me? You still go to jail you broke the law. Well if I say I don't want to go to jail it doesn't matter. You broke the law. So they but they have to then do what to me to get me into jail? Well they just put you in cuffs and take you to jail. So they have to use violence against me. Oh here we go, okay. Um, they they arrest you and take you to jail for not obeying the law. If you went out and shot somebody, you'd get arrested uh, for not for not obeying the law. Well, we're talking about something that doesn't hurt anybody in and of itself, right? Like a private party sale of, of private property. And you're saying that the answer to this is another violent policy that says like if... You're putting words in my mouth now, partner. Okay. Well, are you saying cops aren't violent or cops don't have no, guns no. backing up what they do? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm not. But what I'm saying is that nobody needs an assault weapon. Nobody needs a high capacity magazine. Those have no value. Universal background checks have pre prevented 300,000 people who shouldn't have guns from having them. And if you can't fly on an airplane, you sure as hell shouldn't be able to buy a gun. But you're saying that if, if I'm doing something like we're talking about a private party sale, like maybe of a hunting rifle or a handgun or something, just simple self-defense weapon, right? That if I sell it to my friend, that your answer to that non-crime is to have to send men with guns to come and get me and lock me in a cage against my will. It seems like a very violent response to something that's non-violent. We have all kinds of laws. If you don't have auto insurance, you can't drive a car. Well, it doesn't necessarily make it right. No, it doesn't. But you're saying if it's a law, then it's it's okay to use the law as an excuse to, to use excuse. violence against someone? It's not, a, it's not an excuse. We have to enforce the law. We have to enforce the law? Yeah, you do have to enforce our laws. It's what keeps us from being uh, animals. 
what if the law is wrong? Well, who determines that? If the citizens of the, of the uh, state pass the law, then it's uh, the law. Well, it's usually the politicians and it, the best of special interests. It's never really the people. I mean, we have referendums occasionally, but that's not how most laws come into existence. Well, most laws get passed by a legislature someplace, and the legislature represents the people. Do you think that's really true, that legislators represent the people? I think they do in Maryland because we have good gun laws in Maryland. If you want to transfer a gun, there's a procedure for doing it. So you're talking about democracy, right? Yeah. So majority rule? Oh, here we go. Yeah, majority rule. So it's okay for the majority to force its will on a minority yes, yes. if they have enough people to gang up on them and create a violent government entity to enforce their laws? We're talking gobbledygook, okay? The, the, tra the fact is we have laws, they're passed, and they're passed for a reason. And in this instance, it's to protect people from being shot with a gun. There are 100,000 people a year get shot with a gun. 93 people, it was 89 a year ago, today it's up to 93 people a day that get shot and killed with a gun. We spend $4.2 billion a year taking care of gunshot victims. Excuse me, it's time to do something about it. You don't think it would be better off saying, hey, we just don't want violence, instead of trying to say, we have violence, so we want to respond with more violence? Isn't that going to compound the problem? Words in my mouth. I'm not saying that we should respond with violence. Well, are, you saying gun, are you saying gun control is not violent? That gun control enforcing, like, you, like the example we talked about, background checks, that if, if I sell a gun to my friend on my own property, that, that you're going to send cops to come with guns to lock me in a cage against my will, you're trying to say that that's not violent? It can be violent if you want it to be, but if you if you don't want to be violent about it, they're not going to bother you. Plus, well, I'd like to be left alone. I'd like to have my rights respected. What are you going to do with a gun but kill somebody? That's what a gun is for. And is there anything or everything you own worth killing somebody for? No, it, it's not. It's like that man out in Maryland last, who two weeks ago shot and killed a 19-year-old in his house. He shouldn't have done that. He should have told the kid that he had a gun and, and asked him to leave. He shouldn't have killed a kid. He, everything a man owns is not worth one human life. Do you know how many people are killed in this country every year by police? No, do you? It's uh, 52 times more than are killed by terrorism in the United States. So terrorism obviously we have... In the United States is not a problem. Uh, there, there are very few people there in the past 10 years there have been 270,000 people killed with guns and 123 killed by, by terrorists. Well, Terrorism is not a big problem in the United States. How many of those people killed with guns were killed by police? I'm sorry, I don't know. Well, it's, it just seems striking to me that if, if someone who's passionately, genuinely against violence is seeking a violent solution to this problem, as opposed to saying, let's find a non-violent solution to this problem that empowers people to be able to defend themselves how they see fit, at least on their own property. What would you suggest? I would suggest respecting people's rights. I would suggest getting government completely out of the issue because government is responsible for far more deaths than non-government individuals, especially when it comes to violent deaths in the 20th century. Government is not. We've lost more more people to guns since 1968 than we've lost in all our wars since 1776. We've lost 1.3 million people in all our wars, all our wars, uh, and we've lost 1.5 million people to guns since 1968. Is it 1.3 million people in all American wars since 1776? Yes. You don't count all the ones that weren't necessarily U.S. service members that, you know, like in, in World War II, over, you know, 60 million dead, or in, in Vietnam, uh, 2 million dead Vietnamese, or in, in, in Iraq now, millions of dead Iraqis, or in Syria now? Talking about Americans. 1.3 million Americans have been killed, American service members, Civil War, all our wars. And since 1968, 1.5 million Americans have been killed with guns. What's the problem? Guns. Well, it could be the root cause of violence being that people like you want to say, well, hey, if the majority says something, you know, it's okay to impose our will on the minority. I mean, I mean by violence. Maybe, like, you know, I've been arrested for, for violations of gun laws, and what happened to me is my, my home was raided by a SWAT team. My, my house was, was destroyed, turned inside out. I had green laser sights pointed at my chest. Um, I, I, was, I was put in handcuffs. Uh, I loaded a shotgun for a YouTube video, and I ended up doing four months in jail for this. I didn't hurt anybody. I was making a 
political statement. It was clearly nonviolent. And yet, because people like you support laws that allow government or empower government to come after people like me who are peaceful in exercising our right to self-defense or, you know, right to hunt or whatever the case may be, well, you, you know. What do you do with your shotgun? Defend my home. What is it that you own that you would kill somebody for? My own life. The, the, here's an alternative. Run out the back door. Is that really your answer? If someone is assaulting you and you have the opportunity to stop them by force, you would you would just run away? Someone assaulting you? Well, the government was, yeah. There's a park police SWAT team. Yeah. Uh, what were you going to do with your shotgun? Just use it for home defense. How about running out the back door? There's nothing you own that's worth uh, killing somebody. All my life, and and usually turning turning your back to someone who's trying to assault you is is, is a pretty good way to get hurt. Door. Run out the back door. So your your philosophy of people being able to defend themselves is call government to control guns and then run out the back door. I mean that's you know that's a, that's a guaranteed way to to get killed. This is a foolish interview. You, you clearly have a position that you're going to defend and you're going to try to put words in my mouth and this is a foolish interview you're wasting my time see well i don't think so i think this is a foolish position but thanks for engaging i really appreciate i appreciate your time i think this is an important intellectual discussion and i, I appreciate you engaging so okay. thank you do you have a card yeah send your senator your okay your all right well president, or email every week. protesting gun violence if we all do it we can make a difference we get some sensible gun laws we're about sensible gun laws read the card I don't think there is such a thing as a sensible gun law because it's words on paper used to make violence. You're stuck. Okay, you're stuck. You can't see anything but what you want to see. Good for you. Stay with it. You know, how's it served you in the past? It'll continue to serve you the same way in the future. What is the law? When you say sensible gun laws, what is it? What is a law? I got them written down here for you, okay? okay. Uh, no fly, no buy, universal background checks, ban assault weapons, and high capacity magazines. Those are laws we'd like to see. No, but I mean, conceptually, what is a law? Because it seems like a law sorry, is something that you... Uh, that's an intellectual discussion that I don't think I'm prepared to make today. I can't define a law. The law is the will of the people. And the Whoa, that's, oh, come on, the law is the will of the people, the law of corporatocracy, the law of the military-industrial complex, the law around here. If you're, why, don't you, why don't you take this and go someplace else? I'm tired of talking to you. Right, well, I, appreciate that. I, I, I do agree that you're not intellectually prepared if you don't understand the basic philosophical concepts of what the law is. And as a violent policy, you're asking for more violence in protesting gun violence. I think that's a, that's a bit of a contradiction. I'm not asking for violence. I'm asking to stop violence. That, that is violence. The, what you're asking for there is violence. I'm proof of that. My case is proof of that. You you call for these laws and shotgun. What are you going to do with it, for Christ's sake? What do you expect to happen? It was uh, to make a political statement. How you doing, officer? Thanks for your time, sir. What's happening? I'm starting to deal with a, a, a secret service, yes, and I'm just want to make sure that you're not Adam Coach. Do you have any form of ID on you? <laughs> well, Am I being detained for something? We just want to make sure like you don't have a stairway order. Do you have any form of ID? Well, if I'm not being detained, I'm free to go. I, I don't, I'm not legally required to show ID, right? No, you are legally At this required point, to show your ID. Well, what am I being detained for? We believe that you have a, a stairway order. You believe that I have a stairway order? Yes, sir. Do you want to check that? If there's someone named Adam Kokesh, can you check if he has a stairway order without coming and detaining me? So why don't you go ahead and check? Let me just... Do you have a form of ID? Am I legally required to show you ID if you're not detaining me under suspicion of a particular crime right now? I do have reason to believe that you are Adam Kocheck and that you have a stairway order. Yeah. Well, how do you spell that last name? I'm not sure. That's the reason I'm asking you for your ID. So you don't know how to spell the last name. You don't know who I am. You're That's detaining me That's with... Right. Hey, you're welcome to record all you want. All right. So what's, what's going on here today? Well, we're doing a protest against Trump's military actions in Syria based on them being unconstitutional at this point. Okay. All right. Well, do you know you have a warrant out of Maryland? No? All right. We're going to take care of that right now. Okay. So put your hands behind your back. Okay, put your hands behind your back. Let's oh, drop the bike. Let's, 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 hold on. Can I hand it to my camera person? Yeah. Sure. You live? He's, yeah, but the connection's weak. But. Oh. So is, it, is it actually broadcasting? Or? It says live. All right. Well, hey, everybody out there on Facebook. This is Adam Kokesh. I'm here getting arrested at the White House. 
the time it's uh, because the Secret Service Uniform Division has decided to uh, identify me and arrest me based on a potential warrant. They're not sure, they're checking the paperwork right now, but you know, shoot first, ask questions later. Hey, Mike Heiss is here. Mike, say hi to everybody on How's Facebook going? Live. Looks like it showed up just in time. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> so um, this is based on apparently a warrant for a, a bench warrant for an issue that's been resolved from a TSA incident a couple of years ago where the TSA sent me a letter saying that it was resolved, that they had reduced their charge to a warning but the court system in Maryland apparently didn't get the memo, and so they're, they're saying they still have uh, an, a limited extraditable warrant that might apply here in Washington, D.C. So just part of the fun of uh, you know challenging authority like this. They come up with all sorts of fun excuses. I'm in a rock bed. A rat. I met you with Colonel All right, I got it. Yes. I know I just went live, but I just showed up in D.C. in front of the White House. And as soon as I walked up, it looked like Coke was just getting arrested. Thank you. I know why he's not answering. Now you know. I said, why? And he goes, he's getting arrested. I said, Tell me your name again, man. Vicky Joe Kennedy. Go to Eck Island. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Adam. I just went live. Can you can you give that spiel again? Well, I'm, you know what, I'm, I'm not going to cooperate with my attention, you guys. Oh, uh, come on, Adam. Don't make them do that, honey. Come on. Yeah. 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 They're still seeing if, it, if it's extraditable right now. Okay, so they haven't confirmed this, but uh, we're having fun already. So, Adam, what's going on? I just went live. Sexual assault. <laughs> Seems like a bad second date. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just got here, found Adam, and uh... This is what happens when you're an advocate for peace. <laughs> and the origin of all of this is because when I was on probation, I had an ankle bracelet. The, uh, the TSA was still for a bomb. Yeah. Uh, Luis, they're calling it failure to appear, I guess, for a court date in Maryland. Yeah, yeah. I, I was sent a letter saying it was resolved from the TSA. I still have it. I have that at home. I can uh, find a way to present that letter if I have to, but we'll see what happens. You want a hand? How long have you been in D.C., sir? It's like an hour. <laughs> hey, Adam, don't, don't tell anything. Adam, do you have any phone numbers you need written down? Any phone numbers? Um, do, I need, do I have any phone numbers I need written down? Or I mean, in case you're not walking away from here. Oh, um, well, Heather's got my cell phone, so everything's in there. Um, if, if anybody can contact uh, my manager, Aaron, ask you he's in, at home in Arizona right now. That'd be appreciated. Let him know what's going on. For anyone asking what he did, they're saying failure to appear for a court notice. And, uh, it's where are you going at? I mean, it's not aggressive. Sorry, I'm going Yeah, there's all three of us here. Me, Adam, and Adam. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. Oh, look at this. I got a hand uh, It's your first time on something like this? <laughs> no, it's just it's frustrating when he's doing so much good in the world and these guys are could, like laying him down on the ground like a friggin' animal. Well, that's a matter of public record. Isn't no, it? it's not. Yeah. Do you know it? Well, you were going to do it here, or there, wherever. It doesn't matter. It's the idea that this is like one of the most peaceful people that you could possibly be detaining right now. That's a good question. Why did they even run your name? They didn't. They just said uh, they oh, recognized they know your him. Face. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the radical freedomists are known as. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> it's a crime to be Adam. <laughs> Go get it. But you don't do this all the time and get more than a couple You must not be arrested. Joe, he's arrested for failure to appear. I'm going to be saying that a lot. Uh, apparently in Maryland. But there seems to be uh, some uncertainty around that. We're not even sure. It's a slow day in front of the White House. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even get to talk to the leftists about the Adam, do we have Karen? You gotta walk over.
Alright, so he's not going to cooperate, so. Alright. So, we're to call this resisting, but I So I know if I can like bail him out or something, like what's gonna Oh, I'm I just got out of here. I gotta pay. If, if you need held until Mark can help you out with this, if the feather has to go home, so you can contact him. Hang on to my equipment, my cell phone, right. and hook up with Bill here and make sure my shit's me when I get out here. Yeah. Alright, man. I feel really good. Yeah, I'll give it to Josh. Josh Lee. Such bullshit. So do you guys ever arrest like actual bad people? It's it's bad. You do? It's bad just to push the equipment and stuff like that. I gotta have no Like when was the last time somebody commit like a real crime here that you had to take down? You know, like a like crime that has like a victim? Because in this case, wouldn't Adam be the victim? You know, because he is like a peaceful person that was just like put in handcuffs. He was warrant. A warrant for a non-violent crime though is still unethical. Failure to appear. See, if I was if I was your lawyer, I wouldn't make you enforce unjust laws. It'd be nice. This is bullshit. Pretty much. I mean, they they said that there was a failure to appear in Maryland, but how the hell do they even know who he was if they didn't recognize him? Uh, he's a pretty well-known internet personality, so. Yep. This is Adam Kokesh. Thanks for watching. Please share this video and support this production by going to patreon.com slash Adam Kokesh. Adam, say hi to the live stream. Hi, everybody on Facebook. Welcome to the adventure. Maybe I'll see you in Maryland. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you in court. Maybe I'll see you on the internet. I love you. Thanks for tuning in. Right, so this was really unexpected, but not um, entirely but what's surprising. Going on here is I walked up. Yes, Adam Kokesh is in the van. He was just arrested for failure to appear. So I'm going to contact his mother. And uh, apparently he has item TSA saying oh, yeah. this went from a warrant He's to a, a, uh, a warning. So that'll be posted on Facebook. Adam Kokesh protesting outside of the White House from within a police van. <laughs> Adam being taken away in a police van outside the White House to the sound of bagpipes. <laughs> it's a crime to be Adam Kokesh in America. Thanks for watching.